Hey, wanted to ask you just, and I asked Lon this too, how much did you really need basketball with going through the pandemic, trying to just, the world's crazy, but how much did you really need the sport of basketball when you came back to campus? And how much, how forward are you looking to the schedule starting in a couple of weeks? Uh, I think um, having that break was, it was, it was good, but I, you know, it was really hard trying to get in the gym myself, trying to work out by myself. It was, it was, it was tough. So I think uh, personally me for, needing to, whether it was get stronger, work on a basketball game, anything, I, I needed to be back in Norman. I, I, was, I have so much availability here, and it really just um, the easy access is really what I needed. And I, I, I'm glad we're back. I'm glad we're getting ready to start playing games. I'm just ready for the season to start. You know, a common question with upperclassmen is just how fast the career goes by. Here it is senior season does it really go that fast does it feel like you just got here and now you're already where you're at now yeah it's uh it's it went by really fast I mean I uh, think of the other day I was a freshman here with Hannes and Trey and I mean just a uh, new guy and, and now I'm one of the oldest ones on the team it's just it's just a quick change of events it just feels like yesterday I was moving into Hankton just uh really fast career but uh, I mean you look back on it we've done a lot of things here at OU the last three years and uh, I'm just ready for this this season to play out and see how it ends up thanks Brady thank you we'll go to Joe Bettner hey Brady uh with uh I wanted to ask you specifically about Kate Davis being added to the staff being an Oklahoma guy um I'm curious just what you make of that hire and how maybe excited you are to, you know, work with a guy like that this season. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's really cool. I mean, uh, I, I've known Cade a um, couple years now. He uh, was buddies with the, the organization I was, I was playing for, the, the Wizards, back in the day. And, uh, I mean, I, I've, not, I've known him through that a little bit. And uh, it's, it's really cool to – uh, have someone here that's that's been through it, has played. Um, he's got a good grasp grasp of basketball. I mean, he, he played last year. He's been practicing with us uh, last few years here and there. It's just uh, really cool to have him on the staff and have someone that uh, kind of understands college basketball here at Oklahoma and can just uh, help us. Um, also curious on the flip side of that, no longer having Christian Doolittle around. Uh, what's that like? Obviously, you've played with him for a long, long time. To not have him out on the court, uh, what's that been like uh, through, I guess, the off-season workouts? Yeah, that's tough. I mean, uh, I think I think we played really well together, whether it was uh, offense, defense. I mean, we could always read each other, play off one another. Um, it was He's a really good teammate, really good person, and I'm uh, glad I got to play with him the amount I did. And, uh, and then this year, we were going to have – Vic and Kerr and Jalen uh, at the four or five. Rick, I mean, we got we got different guys to to put in there in that position now. And I, I think um, just uh, being able to get back when we when we did, kind of get that, that chemistry flowing between between the bigs and kind of find a guy to fill do spot. I mean, he he played a big role last year, and this year we're going to need uh, the same from everybody else. Thanks, Brady. Thank you. Uh, Bob Prisbillo, you're up next. Yeah, Brady, it feels like during the off season, that's when a lot of the team chemistry starts forming. Has that still been able to happen, or is that something you have to really try to emphasize during this next month of practice? Um, I think it, I think it's been building over the the last few few months. Um, right now, we're we're kind of getting into the flow of getting guys uh, different different lineups, different people together. Um, I think it's a uh, Chemistry won't be an issue. I think uh, the issue would be uh, locking in and, and buying into the team goal, whether it's getting this this big stop or we need to score on this play, we need to run this play right to get this guy the ball. I, I, don't, I don't think it'll be a chemistry issue. I think we all like each other. We all get along. We we want everyone else to succeed. So I think it, I think it's more of just a, a playmaker perspective instead of a, a chemistry perspective. Next, we'll go to Myron Patton. Yeah, Brady, uh, you've been a player since you got here. Do you see a role changing this year? That now you're a senior and, um, you know, you lost some leadership. And do you see a role changing? And, and if it does, what does that entail? 
Uh, I don't. I don't really see my role changing that much. I, I think um, every year I've been here, I've improved on something or everything, just a little bit more. And uh, that's that's the goal for me this year. Whether it's uh, percentages, uh, making shots, making plays, rebounds, uh, not turning the ball over as much. I think I just need to improve on every aspect of my game, and it'll all. Uh, help the team in the end the the better I can do uh whatever the team needs me to do is uh is it's what, it's what's going to help the team and um I think my role is just going to be another step like it has been the last two or three years next we'll go to Garen Brady the uh, the NBA <clears throat> made playing basketball in a pandemic work but they were in a bubble, of course, um, down in Orlando. Are, what What are you most curious about in terms of how this is going to work for for you guys playing college hoops? Um, I'm not really sure if I'm, I'm curious about it because uh, I mean we're seeing it in football right now. I mean they're they're playing they're they're playing games, and uh, the more football games they play, the better it's looking for basketball. Um, kind of just curious how. Uh, like, you know, bubble, keeping everybody out or keeping everybody in. Uh, college is, is kind of different. We don't ha – not every school has the, the resources to keep everyone away from campus or stuff like that. So, uh, it's just – it's, it's going to be – it's going to be a challenge. And uh, football is doing it well right now. So, that's better for us. The, the better football does, the better it's going to look. Sure. I was talking to Lon just now about the fact that if one of you guys – you know, test positive with, with Tracy and all. It could, it could knock out before you, you you know it. You knock knock out half your roster. So it is. Is there almost more pressure on you guys to take care and not have that occur than, than even a you know football team with all their numbers? Yeah, um, I get pretty worried every week whenever the Corona test comes in. Uh, I mean, we we don't want anybody to to test positive because then you got the contacts and. You got the guy that tests positive, and you got everybody sitting out for two weeks, and it's just uh, at, at this at this point in time, we don't want any of that because uh, we're getting closer to games and real practices are kicking in, and we're, we're we're on the court more, we're putting more stuff in, so we don't want anyone to go out and have to take three more guys out in that spot too because they were around them. So, I mean, it, it's it's a lot of pressure for the for the players to kind of. Make sure we're doing the right thing, staying away from groups like that. But in the end, I, I think I think we've been doing a really good job. Okay, thank you. Thank you.